50 points, uh, which is okay. But off the highs, of course, in a dramatic way, but not like what we had going about 60 minutes back, 45 minutes back. 17,600 or so uh, is uh, where we will finally uh, kind of uh, close at. Uh, just uh, the uh, big uh, stocks apart from, uh, you know, on the Nifty, uh, basically, Adani Enterprises down 27, Ports down 17, HDFC Life down 11, SBI Life down 8.5, Bajaj Finser FinServe, SBI and Indescent Bank in the 3 to 4% cut range. So uh, that's, uh, you, that's what you had going. Uh, you know, outside of the names that I mentioned, it's not as if everything <coughs> sold off in a huge way or anything, uh, at least on the Nifty. Market breadth uh, was negative, it turned negative. But it, we, we're going to end with the positive. I mean, some 1,200, 1,250 stocks higher and about 1,000 stocks which actually were lower. Steel stocks did well. The budget was heavy on CAPEX. The thrust was on CAPEX. So JSW Steel, Tata Steel up 2%. ICICI Bank was the top nifty gainer, a rally of 2%. ITC, no big impact when it comes to taxation. The price increase is not going to be very significant. So a sigh of relief for the shareholders. Stock up close to about 2%. You also had strength in a couple of the other FMCG names like Britannia as well as Tata Consumers also ending higher. Well, that's right. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's about it in terms of the markets. Nifty ends mildly lower, Sensex ended higher. Mid-cap index did end with a cut of close to around a percent odd. But there, were, there was a sector that was under pressure today, and that was the insurance space. Now, to understand, uh, you know, the impact of the recent changes in the budget that were just announced, we have uh, Mr. Vipa Padalkar, the MD and CEO of HDFC Life Insurance, who joins us. Hi, Vipa. Thanks so much for joining us.